Real Housewives of Beverly Hills, stars Sutton Strack and Crystal Kung Minkoff have had their fair share of issues throughout season 12. For instance, during season 12, episode 6, Strack noted she was unhappy that Minkoff asserted she made a dark comment. The 50-year-old later claimed that the mother of two had, repeatedly, brought her character into question and demanded that she stop the behavior. Minkoff agreed to do so to continue her relationship with Strack. Diana Jenkins then confirmed Strack said, as much as I hate Minkoff, I like her. Strack claimed that she said she hate what Minkoff did to her. When the 48-year-old disagreed, the Georgia native got visibly angry at Jenkins, causing the philanthropist to leave the table. Former Bravo stars Tamara Judge and Teddy Mellencamp Arayava spoke about the scene on a June 2022 episode of their podcast, Two Terra Seconds in a Pod. While recording the episode, Judge stated, Sutton was a little wackadoodle this episode. Arayava chimed in that she believed Strack, talked to Crystal like she's a little girl, and shared that she couldn't believe the way that Sutton was actually talking. Judge agreed with her podcast co-host. That was a very uncomfortable like she was very soft and hunching over and her body language was very odd and she was talking in such a soft voice and I thought what is going on here, said Judge. I'm watching it and I'm like what is she doing? Why is she getting so upset? Asked Judge. Arayava then theorized why Strack was frustrated by Minkoff. As fans are aware, the Real Housewives of Beverly Hills stars were at odds in season 11 because Minkoff stated that the 50-year-old violated her space after she entered her hotel room when she was naked. While speaking to In the Know in May 2022, Minkoff acknowledged her issues with Strack. She noted that she and the Georgia native had tried to resolve their conflict from season 11 before filming season 12. It's called gaslighting and when people are unwilling when they are so staunch on being unwilling to listen that they will find other ways to be engaged with the conversation by thinking they're listening but they are not and that's just what happens. I find like the group is very good at that. They'll hold on to the word and that's what I get upset about. You guys focus like you dangle on this, you focus on this, when this is really the issue, but they don't want to go too deep or they don't know how to go deep, stated the mother of two.